Griddle Master. Cooking up the good stuff. Hey, Griddle Master Joe here with you. We are going to cover today a destroyed Griddle Master griddle top. Griddle Master Jr. left his grill outside for the last two years uncovered. He had the top down. If you come around and see, we'll zoom in and I'll show you how destroyed this top is. I mean, we're talking all over. Well, I'm going to demo for you some items that I picked up in the hardware store. We have some of these steel, they look like gold bristles. I've already tested these. These will not work for what we want to do. They're good for if you just want to put a little sand on, sanding on the griddle top. But this is a 3M paint and rust stripper. That's what I'm going to be using. And I'm going to use it along with an electric drill. Not a battery drill, but an electric drill. Okay, so that was phase one, where we just do a quick get all the hard stuff off. I'm going to get a vacuum, and I am going to suck all this out so we're not just pushing it from side to side. Okay, so that was phase one, where we just got the heavy stuff off, and now we're just going to go. We don't have to push hard. We're just going to let it... Um, rub up against all the steel and get it down to the real shiny part. Okay, it's only been maybe five minutes and I already have half of it done so this thing works really well and I've already used this one um, to do a, a griddle top from someone else so it lasts pretty well so I'm gonna get the vacuum back on and we're gonna suck this out and and go and do the other half okay so you can take this out to do it I've just decided to leave it in the grill. What I'm going to do now is, I, just so it's easier to work in front of yourself and not reaching over, I'm just going to turn the griddle around. And just so you know, this griddle is is about three and a half years old and you see we're getting it all the way back down to the original steel and then we're gonna season it and it's gonna be like brand new again all right so I switched to this just to see to go into the corners because if you see the corners are still you can't reach them you can't reach into the, the corner with the round one Okay, okay, you could probably see all the rust dust popping off of this. So this did a really good job getting into those corners. So now, just because this one is getting a little thin, I could probably still keep using it. But I just wanted to see, get back in. I just wanted to see how well a brand new one will cut this stuff up. I'm going to vacuum it again first just to get a nice clean. I 
I just wanted to vacuum it so we can get a nice, I don't, you know, if you could help stuff not going in the pores of this. So that's why I keep vacuuming every so often. Okay, so it's probably been, what would you say, 15, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, and uh, I'm probably like 95% done. What I want to do is I want to take it out, I'm going to move the grow out of the way a little bit and, and move a piece of wood with some saw horses, just so I could set this on. I want to lift it up so I could do different directions, and I'm going to do the bottom also, and then we're going to re-spray paint the bottom with the Rust-Oleum. Okay, so I flipped this over. Camera might move a little bit. I flipped it over, and a lot of you wanted to know how does the paint hold up? Well, this is, um, like I said, three years old, and I don't have any rust showing on the bottom. I only have some here, and that's why I recommend once a year, get it out, and really, that's what these are really good for, is just for some surface rust that really just knocks it out. We can wipe it down after we, we sand it and then respray paint it. So I'm gonna hit these with stop talking to you. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. I'm gonna hit it with these just so I could show you. to show you I'm, I'm just about done what I have to do now is give a little TLC to the corners so I'm going to go back to this and really hit it hard with the corners but if you see all it's smooth all this is seasoning that's in the pores so that's good another trick we're going to do is I'm going to show you I'm going to even get some vinegar and let and pour it on there and wipe it. The only thing, when you use vinegar, it will get this down to the bare steel and you're going to need to oil it up, season it, olive oil it, something before or as soon as you pull it off because it will start to rust immediately if you're in a humid area. So let me hit this with the corners and uh, get some vinegar and we'll go from there. So I just poured some vinegar what you could do is 50-50, same equal amounts, 50% vinegar, 50% water, and just again, um, it works. It really works. Works very well. Um, I'm going to rotate this, I think, because I'm going to go get another rag with some more water because I only have straight vinegar right now. Now, now you can just let it soak. You don't have to rub it. I'm just trying to, to uh, speed up this process a little bit. But realistically, if you just filled your bottom with the 50-50, and let it sit there for an hour, two, three, you would see that all these little black pieces would be gone. So, I'm just trying to rub it and help speed it up a little. 
but realistically, time. Time is the best thing for this. So, of course, we can't do a three inch lip here and soak it in vinegar, so I'm rubbing it just so it gets that rust. It, it just it does a number on that rust. And as I look here, the camera probably doesn't pick it up, but I could see rust forming, just surface rust. It wipes right off, but that's why you have to be ready. Have, have your oil. When I'm done with this, I'm gonna get a, a rag with just water, wipe it down, and then another rag that's just dry and dry it very well and then oil it and then I'm going to season it because again I'm in South Florida it is uh, it's the middle of March and it's already 84 degrees out here which isn't too bad for us but um, the humidity is here all right, we're letting the vinegar do its job over on the griddle top. I wanted to point out something to you. This grill is five years old. Uh, I got this grill when we went to go do our first home show uh, for Griddle Master, and that was five years ago. And I wanted you to see, come on in and take a look at the inside. I have not cleaned this, not once, on the inside of the grill. In five years, they're like brand new, except for the normal wear and tear. Because nothing drips on it. Because of the Griddle Master Griddle Top, nothing drips on causing this to rust and corrode and speed up that process. So, uh, I think, I thought that was something really good to point out to show you. If you got a Griddle Master Griddle Top and you used it all the time, your grill is going to last indefinitely. That's why we call our tops the fountain of youth for your barbecue. So since we're outside out front, I thought I would bring Trish out, my my dog, my baby. Trisha, come here. Trisha is the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Come here. And if you look at her back, you can see the ridge. Sit. Sit. Boom. A Rhodesia Ridgeback, also known as the African Lion Hound. They were used for hunting lions in their day. And Trisha is trained. Trisha. So hand signals, I told her, pause to my chest. And that's why she jumped up. Trisha. I'm gonna tell her to sit. All right. So, just to recap, Griddle Master Jr. just let this thing go. And again, I'm guessing at least two years, but it could have been longer. And it was out in the weather. It wasn't tucked away, but anyway, as you saw in the corners, if you let the corners get really, really bad, it's going to pit the steel. And so, therefore, it makes it harder. But if you look here, everywhere except for the two corners, probably where water set, it probably had water setting in there that caused that pitting. But everywhere else is, is fantastic. It's, it's just like you got it from Griddle Master. So, uh, if you'd like to see the next step where we season it, you could click a video that will pop up on the screen here for seasoning. We have changed. We are using flax oil now. A lot of research, a lot of things I've found out and, and tested myself, not just red, but I seasoned my top with flax oil. It's amazing. It is probably five times, I don't even know, five times, 10 times, 100 times, it's a lot better than olive oil for seasoning your griddle. And again, when you season, just 
no coat, just a thin, and let it let it cook on. Again, thin, just wiping it on, dipping, wiping, let it smoke. So I hope you appreciate this. This wasn't a lot of work, but it was work, but it makes it well worth um, if you've let your griddle top go with within just an hour, hour and a half, you can have a brand new griddle top again, ready to cook like you started for the first time. All right, Griddle Master Joe, uh, thanks for joining in. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, please like us on Facebook, YouTube. Uh, if you would do that, when we post new things, you'll be notified right away. All right, take it easy.